Wenn wir uns ein Video ansehen, entweder ich bin ein schlechter Jungler oder der Typ hat keinen Plan, will gerne sich bei sehen. Do you know how to jungle? To demonstrate how to carry in your elo are very useful tools for saying how better players will approach situations that you might find yourself in. However, the common arguments against this are twofold. One, that challenger players are so much better mechanically that you could never recreate the plays they make. Oh, Lord, and two, that they just happen to get better teammates because of winner's key or something like that. What the fuck? To address the first point, we've shown before that having challenger mechanics alone does not win you the game, and that decision making is what is going to truly carry. When following plot instructions, I will lose games that I'd otherwise likely win. And when I give instructions to a plat player, they perform much better than their rank might suggest, with zero change to their mechanics. As far as the second point goes, winners and losers queue is a complete myth. You never see high elo smurfs getting stuck in losers queue, even if they get a few unlucky games in a row. Ultimately, we have to embrace that we are the Warum? ones in control when it comes to climbing. Warum wird loser queue oder winner queue in einem Video diskutiert? Like, what the fuck is this shit? except that streaks are just a natural part of playing the game. So with that out of the way, decision making is going to be by far the most important thing to improve if you want to climb. Hat's auf eins vom Witz gesehen. Which is getting. why we're going to so, let's jump right into played in Plat Elo on Vi. So, let's jump right into it. Off the bat, my whole team is setting up to invade, so I make sure to back them up in case of any unfortunate face checks. With all five of us here, we're pretty safe in continuing to walk forward. From here, would you A Continue to invade and try to steal away the opponent's blue. B. Invade but for the opponent's red. Or C. Retreat to our top side to watch our blue buff. <laughs> Keine Ahnung, kann man nicht sagen. Let's go over the incorrect answers first. Trying to invade to steal our opponent's blue is very ill-advised. The further we walk into the enemy jungle, the less information we're going to have and the more our opponents will be able to react by potentially moving members around the map into unknown locations, potentially even invading us on our top side or stacking in a bush waiting to ambush us. Retreating to top side to watch our jungle entrances is a safe play, as it will prevent our opponents from immediately counterplaying our invade with vision of their own, like we just talked about. However, uh -huh. it doesn't use the information we get to our advantage. Because we see the enemy jungler bot side and we've forced her down into river, I now have a faster path than her to her topside jungle. I'll be able to run to her red and at a minimum get a ward. At least I know I won't have to do a Diana or Tarek and will be able to leave run. Nein. Don't do this. Also ich meine, das kannst du natürlich machen. Lowell wird keine Panne schon, aber wenn der, also wenn der Trinne mehr nicht auf K ist, der kann ihn einfach töten. Relatively safely if someone else is there. Especially once I walk away and see the enemy mid laner, I'm able to scout the area safely and work my way in to take the red buff. It's important to note that I'm still playing around the fact that Trin could be here, so I'm standing in the bush by the red and not walking out until I need to actually start it. We'll see if he's uh, watching for info or not, otherwise she's probably completely unaware that I'm even doing this. From here, I'm able to easily take away the enemy raptors as well saw... and return to my own jungle to clear. Kekwe, der hat gerade das Game geflippt. <lacht> der hat gerade das Game geflippt und probiert das strategisch zu erklären. <lacht> Wie geil. Der hat einfach komplett reingeflippt. Ja, und das hat so funktioniert, weil ich predikte, dass äh, der Jungler nicht kommen kann und dass Trinder mehr auf jeden Fall nicht da sein kann. Und ich sichere mich ab. Junge. I don't want to quiz too heavily on this section since I fully explained my decision making behind my actions here in a guide specifically about invading, which if you haven't seen, definitely check it out. I clear towards bottom and end up getting a relatively free gank onto the enemy bot lane. We briefly spot Diana down here and now we do have to have a question. After these kills, what would you do? A. Immediately run to Crab to potentially fight Diana. B. Go back to Krugs to finish our clear. Or C. Push the lane with your laners. Give me another state. Bot lane. Auf Diana drauflaufen. We briefly spot A immediately. Er wird sagen push out lane oder so. Aber du solltest ja Diana chasen mit Zidian. We fight Diana at Crab runs into a few issues. There's no guarantee that our bot lane will want to or will actually move to help. 
And with both of us being level 3 and my red buff having fallen off, I'm not super confident in that fight. If we go to Krugs, we're still ignoring a huge potential issue. Diana can just come back bottom while our laner is shut off. Nein! Xayah pushed alleine, Zilin moved, fertig! On her own, and they can just die for free while I can't protect them. I also just concede giving a minor objective over, which I'm not a big fan of. So, the correct answer is to- Actually, yeah, there's no guarantee here, my bot didn't move, I mean, bro, then- Also, kannst du doch gar nicht predicten, was passiert, oder was richtig ist, oder was nicht richtig ist, right? Push the lane, and then you'll have the freedom to look for the crab. Not only will your laners be more likely to- Guys, also, du gehst da für den, du gehst da für den Diana Chase, und fightest sie, das ist das Richtige. Wenn der Silen nicht kommt, dann hat toll der Silen dich halt, fuck it. Das ist trotzdem richtig. Du hast gerade Numbers Advantage geschafft mit dem Bottling Kill. Und du wirst Pyro kriegen. Xai wird nicht moven. Du hast ein Window bis so lange, bis der gegnerische Supporter wieder auf der Map ist. Das ist jetzt nicht lange. Aber wenn die Diana nicht wegrennt und die Krabbe one shot und dann wegrennt, also wegkommt, dann hast du hier einen Fight. Move with you. They won't die to a Diana gank. And they can secure a good lane state. Which is something that as it's the crab. See that our bay stop before you can. Oh, what? Gates, thanks. Without hit it. We can see that our bot laners are recalling, so that definitely complicates things. No man, no man, no man, no man. The crab. I see Diana briefly show here, walking away, and then turn to hit it. Oh my we God, can see that our bot laners are video. recalling, so that definitely complicates things. Without backup, would you A, stop doing the crab to wait and see what happens, B, push the crab downwards and hope that Diana can't reach it before you kill it, or C, <laughs> try to fight Diana aggressively and chase into her jungle? Okay, as obviously, as and a kite stuff. It's got a very fast trip back to base. If this fight drags out, we will lose. B is also just wishful thinking. Without knowing Diana's smite stat. <laughs> Warum? Warum is B wishful thinking? <laughs> what? I could and I'd be off of cooldown, and I don't know what Diana will do. So let's see how it played out in the game. I stalled okay. for my smite okay, and made Diana again. into a fight. Because she focused on me and not the crab, no. I'm able to okay. smite it away, gaining the level 4 and winning the fight. Had she right. gone for the crab instead of me, I could have just tried to contest with smite and back up to my Krugs. Or B, she that it connected. But regardless, from, I could have corrected my Krugs. Okay, nee, just fragen, was man danach machen soll. That it connected. But regardless, from here, would you A, recall, or B, do your Krugs? Was würdet ihr machen, Twitch-Chat? Es gibt eine sehr einfache Antwort. Leute, also jeder, der hier B schreibt, jeder, der hier B schreibt, ist ja, also sorry, aber da, da, ihr wisst gar nicht, wie falsch das ist. Nein. Guys, was, also ihr müsst resetten hier, weil erstens gibt's Topset neue Action, und diese Golems sind whatever. Und du hast ein sehr geiles Item zu kaufen. Du gehst hier vor Schuld noch Tops, also du gehst vor Schuld bis. Sind exactly as Top did without the extra items. However, looking at Top Lane shows that Trendemere will be able to push uncontested without my laner being there. If I wanted to use my tempo now to invade or contest Top Crab off my recall, I'm going to have to deal with a Top Laner, which isn't exactly ideal. Oh nein. Because my options oh, are nein. rather limited, I choose to <laughs> all the bugs and <laughs> Out and start my base. I pan my camera bottom to see a fight. Uh, Would you cancel your base to help? Nein! While I do have red buff regen to heal me, and Diana is extremely unlikely to be on the side of the map to counter gank, I still do not like the idea of going bottom here. I do not like the idea, Junge. Du würdest legit reported werden, wenn du hier bot gehst. Ich würde dich reporten. Ich würde dich suchen, dich snipen und dann reporten. It's very possible that I could get additional kills here, but I also know that it's not super likely. Nein, Leute, er hat nicht recht. Das ist falsch. Grump ist gerade respawned. Blue is respawned. Scheiß auf fucking top, Bryo. Du bist stark. Das sind deine Kills, die du gerade frisch nehmen musst. Wenn du, wenn, wenn Diana jetzt hier top side invaded und weg ist, ne, dann bist du einfach. Ah, du bist am Arsch. Du wirst gebumst, obwohl du gerade zwei Kills hast. Du hast 1500 Gold. Du hast gerade eine Respawn to Grunt bekommen. Du musst dort sein. ...for either lane to die in this play, and I do not want to risk staying. ...info on my location. With this, she can way too much transition valuable respawn Gromp, 
and the blue that I left up in my <lacht> Okay, er, er erklärt gerade, was Topside passieren kann, wenn er sich Botlane zeigt. Aber er geht nicht davon aus, dass es das passieren kann, wenn er, wenn er, wenn er Gwillems macht. With this, she could easily transition from her topside camps to taking top crab or even invading and taking away my incredibly valuable respawn gromp and the blue that I left up in my first clear. Du hast schon recht. Also Diana muss gambeln dafür, aber also das könnte schon passieren. Ne, es könnte schon passieren und du sicherst das nicht ab, das Play. And now I want to buy items badly to snowball my lead and force fights without advantage. So after my base, I head back towards topside to do my gromp and wolves. We are forced to make a difficult Wenn die Wahrscheinlichkeit, dass Diana Krabbe nimmt und dann den Blue Warded zumindest und vielleicht halt den anfängt, um zu gucken, was, was Vi macht, ist nicht so gering. Decision about where to go next now. So, would you A, head towards top crab to contest it, B, clear towards bottom to take Raptors, or C, head to Dragon to make sure Diana is an honest... Ich würde das nicht machen, wenn ich Diana wäre, weil ich davon ausgehen würde, dass sie Vi Basin geht und Topside ist. Das, deswegen würde ich das nicht machen, ne? Aber jemand, der ein bisschen schlechter ist und das halt vielleicht nicht erwartet, der könnte da sich einfach reinflippen. Genauso wie dieser, diese Wei hier reinflippt. Okay, what should I do? Contest, Contest Top Crab ist schon lange weg. Ob Torn, Dragon. Auf jeden Fall ob Torn zuerst. Heading towards Dragon isn't great. We can clearly see my bot lane recalling here, which means I'm not going to have priority in that lane. If Diana is on Dragon, I couldn't fight. And if I solo it and their bot lane comes, I will just die for free. Clearing towards Raptors is just okay, but because I took my Krugs, I'm a little out of options after the Raptors. For all of the same reasons as the previous options, investing and going bot side is likely very losing, as I can't invade or gank. The correct answer then is A. I'm heavily. Oh mein Gott! Hilf mir, Tachetta! Also. Warum ist das komplett scheiße für Top Crab zu gehen? Du hast gerade, also du hast gerade Diana gekillt, okay? Minute 4,50. Früher, früher, warte, wait, viel früher, viel früher. Minute 4, 4, 10. 4, 10. Diana wird jetzt respawnen und Topset laufen. Die hat... Die war jetzt, wie lange war sie Topside? 14 ist sie gestorben. 420 ist sie in der, im Jungle. Sie ist jetzt zwei Minuten lang out of vision gewesen. Out of vision. Die Wahrscheinlichkeit, dass diese scheiß Top Crap weg ist, ist sehr hoch. Er hat jetzt im Nachhinein, im Nachhinein, wird jetzt sagen, Top Crab ist eine gute Entscheidung, weil er, weil er in diesem Game die Krabbe genommen hat und halt Luck hatte, dass sie noch da war. Er hatte halt einfach Glück, dass sie Diana die Krabbe nicht genommen hat. Und deswegen sagt er jetzt, ja, das war eine richtige Entscheidung. Mhm. Dass diese Krabbe kann, also sollten erstens nicht da sein. Und zweitens, also wenn sie da ist, dann... Nein, don't do it anyways. Selbst wenn sie da ist, sollte sie nicht nehmen. Soll's Raptor nehmen und Dragon covern. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, muss jetzt anschauen. Äh, Dragon wurde gerade gekillt von Diana, obwohl du 2-0 stehst. Cool. Top also genau, Top Laner ist tot. Just finishes killing the minions of this wave. So would you A, invade Krugs, B, go top to catch the wave or try and kill Trend, or C, go back to your own Raptors. Okay, so B. We would have no options after getting there. No to punish. Okay, was ist seine Erklärung? and we would have no options after getting there. Invading Krug seems like a decent play except for one. Hätte er die Krugs nicht gemacht, dann hätte er für die Krabbe checken können. Richtig. Richtig, richtig, sehr gut gesehen. Hätte ich, also na, wenn er wenn er Tempo weiß gleichzeitig wieder der auf der Krabbe ist, dann kann er dann kann er direkt schon entscheiden, oh, kann ich kann nämlich die Krabbe oder nicht. Und von da aus ist es auch schon fertig, dann ist das Krabbenthema fertig direkt. Du weißt von Anfang an, wo was mit der Krabbe los ist. We will miss a window to punish top. Seeing where the reinforcing wave is top, we know that Trinomir needs to stay additional time to break the freeze. If he leaves, he's leaving the lane in a pretty bad position. Okay, okay. If he also, respects okay. me and backs up, it's still a beneficial result for my laner because his wave will be held for him. After this kill, would you A, look to invade the red, B, push the wave, or C, freeze the wave? Also, from my patch, can't you can't definitely not take the wave. Invading the red is incredibly risky. 
even though I've already killed top, Aatrox doesn't actually have the ability to Engine dynamic with myself. me. And Cassio can always move easier here than Vagar. If I push the wave, Aatrox will lose a ton of farm and have nothing to do. He doesn't need to recall as he just died, so while it gets me ahead, it is actively very detrimental for him. While not expecting the third bush to be warded cost me a little bit of time, I'm able to set my top laner up to succeed here and get my recall off while telling him to make Man, das Video ist ein bisschen älter, aber das ist ja egal, ne? Because of me noticing a very small detail on the minimap earlier, I'm aware of Cassio not having flash right now. This sets me up for the absolute easiest gank of my life on mid lane, and we need to decide what to do next. Would you A, push out this lane and look for Harold? B, invade Diana's red? C, Warum ist Diana's red immer noch offen? <lacht> okay, also folgendes. Aus, aus seiner Perspektive, jetzt aktuell, sollte Red schon lange weg sein. Ne? Aber ich kann euch sagen, weil diese Option hier da ist, ist er dafür gegangen? Weil, wie kommst du sonst auf die Idee, jetzt für den Red zu gehen? Also du gehst ja for sure für, für Harold. Wobei ich nicht mal hundertprozentig sicher bin, je nachdem wie Toplane aussieht, ob Harold überhaupt viable ist. Also sollte, sollte possible sein. Go back to Krugs to farm it and take our red after. Das, or also, die Option C ist for sure auch gut. None of the above. Je nachdem, wie, wie du denkst, ob du top Pushing mid in this case comes. is incredibly good compared to the earlier example top. We can open up Vagar to get this is definitely the Rift Herald. I fake like I'm heading back towards my Krugs before heading top side to set up the Herald. In doing so, I actually catch Diana on it, and now we need to decide what to do. Next. Oh, diese, diese sinnlose Rotation, oh Gott! Was ist passiert? That's what I decide to do. I'm literally stuck in the wall, by the way. <laughs> actually cannot move. <laughs> After clearing out some topside camps and basing, I find myself going towards my red, which is stolen, and then find Diana heading towards bottom crab. Would you fight Diana here for the crab? Okay, würdet ihr? Yay or nay? Jetzt fallen Items. Ja, das ist glaube ich egal. Er hat Sandra fertig. Okay, was spricht dagegen? Mitte und Botlane nicht da, genau. The Aber. Is no. While Diana Aber <lacht> ich würde dafür gehen. Also. <lacht> Sorry, aber das ist du one shot sie, bevor irgendjemand da ist. Ich würde dafür gehen. Diana is two levels down on us and I'm incredibly fed. We have to be worried that our mid lane and bot lane are both in Das base. ist While we das would geht schnell. Get crab and maybe even kill her, we likely give shutdowns to our opponents, which is oh. definitely not worth it. Because of this, I wait aber here and when I see my Vagar tower. Es ist schon okay zu I sagen, ich mach's nicht. Ne, wenn du fett schon tot hast. Support that I sit out of vision during this whole time or she would have never walked up to die to this. Unsurprisingly, being patient rewards me heavily. And I'm going to go into the Diana now cuz she is going to unassumedly do her romp or blue Yay. or something. And her bot lane is not rotating. So Get the smite off that too. And buffer my R. Go towards mid because Cassio can't move. She is dead. And I'm worried about their bot lane. And I'm just gonna run straight through here. Uh, he just cages here now. Warum tut er so, als wenn es live wäre? Yeah. Okay, buddy. With these follow-up plays, the game's fate is Ach, das war pretty live. completely sealed. I'm so fed that I can run around live. Er hat jetzt gerade einfach sein live Dings kommentiert. Now, but it was good decision making that led me to this point. As a disclaimer, these actions are based off of what I would personally choose to do in a game. My way of playing is not the only viable way, nor is it objectively correct. However, this level of decision making will get you to challenger, and that much I can say with certainty. And as a reminder, this guide was just a taste of what Okay, in NA. If you're serious about improving and want to rank up fast, then check us out. Link in the description. Oh Gott, ich hätte gesagt, der Typ ist Platin. Kein Scherz, ich hätte gesagt, der ist Platin. Ich, ich wusste, ich kenne den nicht. Das Game ist Platin. Ach so. Er smurft also. Fehlt das Video. Oh Gott. Smurfen, um gut aussehen wie du momentan. <lacht> <lacht>